pronounce this word? Poontang. <laughs> could you just? Could you? Could you? Could they you want me to read this word. <laughs> no, it's a terrible just word. Poontang. 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 Have to go with Poontang. 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 How would you say that? Poontang. Okay. That's how I would say it. How would you say it? Uh, Poontang. 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 Uh, Poontang. Could I define it for you? What's the definition? The standard definition of that word. The standard definition? Hmm. Um, 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 the, the standard definition of Poontang. It is something very nice. Uh, is that a that's good enough definition? Uh, what does this mean? <laughs> it's embarrassing. Um, it's a, I'm taking a human sexuality class, so I'm supposed to not be able to afraid to say words like these. Uh, it's a woman's vagina. It's a slang term that I've always heard being used in the context of describing uh, female juices. Similar to, I guess would be the, the opposite of semen. <laughs> this is the female version of semen. Yes, first to the woman. Um, derogatory word towards women, slang. Um, I, I'm trying to think of what, we have used it in a, a guttural, I guess, meaning, meaning, um, a, I'm trying to think of do this in front of a female, a sexual organ of a woman, but, um, I actually haven't used this word since high school in that meaning. Yeah. <laughs> I think it sounds sexual, um, I don't know, poontang. A sexual power, like um, mojo. Mojo. Uh -huh. mojo. It's the same. It's a synonym for poontang. Oh. It's a sexual power or um, a sexual entity. Okay. <laughs> and could you use? Um, I don't know what it means. Maybe it's a name of a place. Hola. Maybe it's a name of a place. Uh, in, in Asia, possibly Southeast Asia. Um, I'm not sure. It's me somehow. I would think it's Indonesian. I don't know why that comes to mind. I'm not sure what it means, though. I have no idea what it means. Um, <laughs> well, the ending sounds origin in the, um, one of the Orients. I would probably say a Chinese Puntang. Um, I'd say it's a noun. Puntang. I was thinking about it. Right? Hmm. No, I don't. Seems like it would be kind of a verb. Yeah, with the, instead of ing, the ang or something. Poontang. Sounds like something related to something on the water. I'm gonna have to go with like a whaling <laughs> instrument. <laughs> no, this is a serious interview. You know, like when you're killing like a. Like, like a harpoon or something. <laughs> you kill whales with it. Okay, what's your Sandy? <laughs> Actually, the only I, there's a someone close to that a name in my class, but it's more poo poo bong. I've never heard poo tang. <laughs> what do you think it is? You're on camera. What we, <clears throat> I'd really not tell you what I think it is. I've heard it about a bunch of guys before, and that's about it. I don't know. I heard it in a Vietnam War movie once. Uh, what movie was that? Uh, Good Morning Vietnam. I think it was in that movie. Oh, yeah. I think it was. Yeah, but I, I can't remember what to, what, it, what it means, though, exactly. Well... I've seen it before, but I wouldn't know what it would mean. 
I don't know. Um, a game? Maybe? Okay. Sounds like maybe a game like, it could be the sound that something makes, like, I don't know, when you throw it or something. Like, what are those words called that sound like they're supposed to be? Like splash and stuff? Yeah, it could be one of those. Poontang. It looks like uh, Poontang. Sounds like some exotic drink. <laughs> Is that it? Use it in a sentence. The, the boys were out on town, out on the town, looking for a poontang. <laughs> oh, no. Um, oh, get that, no, I can't say that word. <laughs> what a terrible word. Is this a joke? Um, is it in a sentence? Um, I really can't think of a sentence to put it into. Um, he smells like poontang. <laughs> I guess. What does it smell like in general? Uh, tuna. Oh, many men are adverse to the smell of poontang. Well, what does it smell like? Uh, I wouldn't know from personal experience, but many people have told me that it smells like uh, maybe a can of fish or fish market. I guess that um, that girl's just poontang. What? Um, let's see. I want some poontang. <laughs> that boy's got poontang. <laughs> um, I went on vacation and I visited poontang on the way. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, um, hey, let's go get some poontang. <laughs> oh, I, I think it's probably Chinese or something. You know, I, I got a chi I got a. I got an AI for B Corp who's Chinese, and I could have sworn I heard him use this word several times. What kind of origins does the word have? Yeah. I don't know. I've always heard uh, sex regarded to as pooning. Like pooning is another word, you know, for having sex. So I'm thinking maybe that it maybe came from that, you know. And tang, you know, it's a drink. So maybe, <laughs> maybe that's where it came from. Do I believe started in the Vietnam War, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, no, cavemen. I don't know. <laughs> I would think maybe more like an Asian word. Latin. It sounds like a southern dialect. Uh, is it? Uh, is it English or is it? Uh Poontang. Appropriate social context. Um, I guess it's your uh, local bar and grill. I, you know, I guess that would be probably the most appropriate place on it. Um, appropriate social context. Well, yeah, like, um, like, well, certainly not at a, a party with a lot of people, but maybe you're hanging around, you know, with your friends or something. Maybe you'd use it. Mm, yeah, probably between guys, I guess. Where? In the locker room. <laughs> I don't think it would be appropriate anywhere to say this word. Uh, I would have to say when um, you're sitting around with a bunch of dudes and you're the only girl there and they forget that you're a girl. I mean, that happens to me very slips often. Right out. It slips right out. They're talking. Pretty much. So I don't think you would just like use that word in everyday conversation, but I mean, in a, in a formal conversation. I think it's pretty much slang for something, I'm not sure. Well, um, I, I probably wouldn't use it in mixed company, but, uh, you know, at the Chinese Cultural Center, I'm sure I'd, I'd use it, you know, hang out there all the time. Uh, as far as whether I... Um, you mean good feelings, bad feelings? Yeah. yeah Rather good. ambivalent about it. Okay. You know. <laughs> you know, one of those words you just don't, you don't hear on TV, kind of offending. 
An offending slang word. No, I mean, if I heard it, I would just like get someone like, you're sick, you know? Uh -huh. Or I know what he's thinking, something obviously disgusting. Yeah. If I hear the word or something like that, I guess I'm, a, I'm the kind that just kind of slides over. I really don't pay any attention to hearing it. Probably because I probably hear it a lot more <laughs> than it needs to be said. I think it's rather derogatory, and I don't like the word. I mean, I'm not, I'm not the kind of person that puts down women just to be using this kind of slang and generalizing about women. Oh, as a matter of fact, uh, one of my teachers in Sush told me, who's a specialist in sexuality, that the more silly words you have for sexual terms, the more repressed your society is sexually that's I feel that way about this word it's like something people people can't say technical terms or you know they can't express themselves when it comes to sexuality so they make up the silliest word they can think of that's what I think about this word I I don't like that word at all I, I think it's degrading I think it's gross uh, but it's it sounds a lot more like uh, it sounds something that you would drink rather than something that you would eat or a person or an adjective. I think it's definitely a, uh, a drink.